Hey guys, and welcome to Foam Test. Today we are going to be doing the episode on the, you guessed it, the hovercraft that you guys saw in the vlog. Um, I figured I want to share this with you guys just because um, I designed this to be practical and fun, not really to be pretty, obviously by all the wires and stuff everywhere. Um, we are using the Power Pack A from Flight Test, which includes two Emax 1806-2280 KV motors, two BL Heli 12 amp ESCs, and of course I'm using Spectrum for everything on here for the receiver. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then I'm using Eternity, Eternity 3S batteries for this, anywhere from 1000 to 20, 2200 milliamp. You could go a lot bigger. That's one of the main reasons I designed this was to be a nice camera platform. Yeah, we have a GoPro mount on the front of it. Um, yeah, everything here is pretty much made just for be, being practical and fun. It's not meant to be pretty, not meant to be anything else other than a camera platform. have some videos in the future on this too. A lot of fun in the snow. Although it doesn't perform as well on like concrete and grass as it does when it's like ice and snow because this thing flies on ice and snow. It's actually why I had to install these um, air fo these foils on the front of it. Kind of like a spoiler to keep the front end down because as I was flying over the snow you hit a bump and the thing just flip over and uh, I didn't want that to happen. And it's they work really well just two curved pieces and then some supports behind it here but I haven't had any complaints with that. It works very well. There's also, this is just birch plywood in the middle here for the support for everything. And it's just hot glued down to the Stellar Tree foam board. And the bag on the bottom here is a construction, like not construction, but contractor grade garbage bag. We have, this is just taped on here with some extreme packing tape. Um, and then just a nine gram servo in the back for steering. But anyway, here guys, let's get started. One of the best parts about this is, it's not like an airplane, so you don't have to have the CG just right on it for it to work. For example, we have we had this 1000 milliamp hour turn G battery on it, now we have this giant 2200, and I'm pretty sure it'll work just fine. The only problem I can see with it is it is very kind of tail heavy now because we had to take out the GoPro to use it for the main filming camera, but we'll just put the 3S in there anyway. <laughs> put the 3S in the front. But the best, and another thing too, with the weight distribution, you don't have to worry about everything if it's distributed properly, because you can put gear all over this thing and it'll handle it. It's, it's great. But anyway, if you don't want to take my word for it, I'll show you right now. So here we go. water yeah I mean this that's just a creation that I made I figured I'd want to share from you share with you guys um yeah if you're wondering where I got my inspiration from it's definitely from when Peter made his but I figured ah I'll make mine only I'll instead of have it just for fun I'll use it as a camera platform too I also have another video that I'm editing which is for a film contest that uses this for some following scenes in it but anyway that's coming up in the future 
and this is just something I built as a cool little project and I'm uh, turned out better than I expected really. I didn't think I would do this well when there's no snow around but it's, yeah, it surprised me. But anyway, that's it for today guys and see you guys next time.